Imagine having three recruiters reaching out to you within 36 hours. It sounds impossible, but this is actually what happened to my client after we made some changes to her LinkedIn profile. Before that, she was applying for roles, never hearing back, being ghosted by recruiters and hiring managers, but we worked together to make some simple changes to her LinkedIn profile that changed everything. Within a short period of time, recruiters were reaching out to her for potential job opportunities. So stick around, I am spilling the tea about all the changes we made to her LinkedIn profile and you do want to stay till the end because number six is where I'm sharing how she actually landed the job. All right, let's get into it. So first thing is knowing that LinkedIn, as much as it is a professional platform, it's still social media. So there is a visual element to the platform that is just as important as the words and the message that you're putting on your profile. So you definitely want to make sure that you have a photo. It should be a professional photo. It doesn't need to be professionally taken, but it should be a professional photo. And I'm sharing with you some examples here of what your LinkedIn photo can look like. In addition to your photo, at the very top of your LinkedIn profile, you have the opportunity to include a banner. So the banner is where you really convey through a visual the message of who you are and what it is that you do. This could be an opportunity for you to include your branding statement or for you to include your title and results that you've been able to achieve for your company or a major win that you've had in your career. To design your banner, you can go on Canva. They have templates even with the free account that you can use to be able to design a LinkedIn banner that will allow you to add that visual element to your profile. The second thing that we did to make sure that her LinkedIn profile truly stood out is that we optimized her headline. Your LinkedIn headline is one of the most important parts of your profile because it is a searchable field. By that I mean that someone can type in the LinkedIn search certain keyword like let's say project manager and the idea is that if you do have project manager in your LinkedIn profile that and especially in your headline that you will show up in those searches. There are obviously other things that you need to do to optimize your LinkedIn profile which we will get into shortly but Making sure that your headline is optimized is one of the key elements of having a LinkedIn profile that leads to success in a job search or even as a business owner to attract leads. I'm sharing here some examples of what a LinkedIn headline can look like. The third thing to keep in mind is having an engaging about section. So someone has come to your profile, they've actually looked at your photo, they've looked at your banner, they've read your headline, they're like, yes, this is the kind of person I'm looking for for my organization. So now they wanna know more about you. Where are they going next? They're going to the about section because the about section is where you provide the narrative of what it is that I do. What problem can I solve with your organization? How can I meet the need that your company currently has? Meaning that your opening statement of your about section should be compelling. It's where you catch the attention of the reader. It's not the place where you talk about your hobbies or different things that you do and make the focus just about you. The focus should also be on the reader. How are you going to help solve a problem that they have? How are you going to be the person that would lead their company to the success that they're looking for? Why should they hire you versus all the other project managers who have very similar experience as you? This is where you tell the story. This is the meat of your profile where you share that narrative. So what you need to know about your about section is that those first Three to four lines are typically what a person sees first. They need to click see more before they can read the rest of your about section. So you wanna make sure that that opening is strong. Make sure that it's about them, that it catches their attention. 
After that, the next paragraph, you can then start talking about your qualifications, talking about your experience, talking about your background, and add some achievements in there. Add some achievements that you've been able to have in the past and that you can bring to that organization. Then your closing can now be a call to action. They've actually taken the time to read the whole about section. What do you want them to do? Should they send you a message here on LinkedIn? Should they send you an email? This is where you make your pitch of what exactly you want them to do. So that's how you want to structure your about section and take a screenshot if you need to. Here's an example of what the about section can look like on your LinkedIn profile. Number four, you want to tailor your experience section, making sure that it's truly speaking to the background, the skills, the qualifications that you have that are relevant to your current search. So many times people have a lot of experience that they've acquired from different places. Sometimes it's experience that you've had over the last 25, 30 years. But what you want to keep in mind with your LinkedIn profile, what is most relevant to the role that I'm looking for? How can I be as tailored and as focused as possible so that the person who's coming to my profile can see that the background that I have aligns with the need that their company currently has? So you want to make sure that you're keeping it relevant and also make sure that you're talking about your achievements and your accomplishments. You don't don't need to put the information that you have word for word from your resume into your LinkedIn profile so you don't need to copy paste your resume into your LinkedIn profile if you're not sure what the difference is between LinkedIn and your resume I have a full video that I will share here and that goes in much detail about what the difference is but for the sake of this video what I will tell you is don't copy paste your LinkedIn profile into your resume your LinkedIn profile has a different focus and it's open to a way broader audience so you want to keep that in mind especially for privacy reasons that you want to limit the kinds of information you put on your LinkedIn profile but still want to be able to convey to that recruiter to that hiring manager that you are the ideal candidate for the role so you do that by sharing about your qualifications, your experience, and most importantly, your achievements. Number five, you want to make sure that open to work is turned on on your LinkedIn profile. With open to work, there are two different settings in terms of how you can turn it on. You can choose to have it open to everyone on LinkedIn, being able to see that you're open to work, and then a green banner will show up around your profile picture. The other option is that you can open it just to recruiters, so only recruiters who pay for LinkedIn recruiter will be able to know that you are currently open to work. You'll be able to select the kinds of job titles you want to be found for, whether you're looking for hybrid work, remote, or in-person work, location. So you fill in all that section and that will help you to gain more visibility to hiring managers and recruiters who are either scrolling through LinkedIn and seeing your green banner or who have LinkedIn recruiter and are able to see that you are interested and open to a new role. So number six, and this was really the game changer for my client and recruiters being able to now start to find her on LinkedIn, is that we made sure that her profile was keyword optimized. I touched a bit on this when I was talking about the LinkedIn headline, but now I'm gonna go into a lot more detail about how you can make sure that your LinkedIn profile is keyword optimized. Okay, so I'm gonna do a walkthrough with you, but before we do that, let me explain to you what is keyword optimization. So it works very similar to how search engine optimization works on Google. So for example, you're on Google, you're looking for a blue coat, you type in Google blue coat, and basically any website that has their website optimized with the word blue coat and that has that keyword in certain places on their website will begin to show up in that search. So that's exactly how keyword optimization works for your LinkedIn profile. There are certain keywords that need to be in your profile so that's when somebody searches a keyword that is related to your industry or the work that you do that you will begin to show up in those searches. 
So you want to make sure that you're sprinkling these keywords around in your LinkedIn profile in a strategic way. I mentioned the headline is one place you want to have keywords. Keywords can be included in the about section, in your experience section, and one of the most important parts of your profile, the skills section. Now you can add up to 100 skills on your LinkedIn profile, which is awesome. This gives you the opportunity to add many more skills to your profile. But in addition to that, LinkedIn has added a feature now where when you add the skills to your profile, you can also add them to your various experiences, which provides you the opportunity to have way more keywords added to your LinkedIn profile. So let's do a quick walkthrough of the various places you can go to find keywords for your LinkedIn profile. And why keyword optimization was a game changer for my client is that initially her profile wasn't optimized at all. And one of the things that the hiring manager who reached out to her said is that they were able to find her through the search. And that is how they reached out to her for this opportunity. Okay, so doing keyword research will be essential to helping you stand out on LinkedIn and helping your profile show up in more searches. So in this video, I'm going through a couple of ways that you can research keywords for your LinkedIn profile. This is also a similar strategy that you would use if you're trying to find keywords that you need to include in your resume. The first one is through a job description. You have a job description here. The role that we're looking at is a project manager. You can scan through a couple of job posters and see what are the keywords that stand out. Typically, when you are updating your LinkedIn profile is for a specific purpose. You have a goal in mind in terms of the kind of position that you want. And if we use this position as an example, what you can see, a keyword that comes up quite a bit here is Scrum Master. There's that word four times in the post. Another one is there's Project Plan that comes up a few times. And then there is Project Manager. Obviously, that will come up a few times considering it's the job title. So, and then project management is also a keyword. So as you can see, when you scan through the job poster and look at a couple that are similar in terms of what the job is and go through them and find out what are the keywords that stand out from those job posters that can help you to include those into your LinkedIn profile. Next thing is coming within your LinkedIn profile itself. When you go to your profile and you move here to the skills section, as I was saying, you can add up to 100 skills right now. So on this profile, there's only five. But if you click on this little pencil here and then on the plus, you are able to add some new keywords. And LinkedIn already suggests some keywords for you based on what's already in your profile. So that already gives you a good foundation of certain keywords that you need to pay attention to. Project management was one of them that we were talking about. What it tells you is that when you select project management, for example, as a keyword, it's going to ask you, where did you use that skill? So then all your job experiences will show up here, your education as well. And then you get to choose what job did you use this skill. And so let's say I choose this office employee at We Apply Career Services, I press save, that that's where I use my project management skill. You will see here that it will say that for project management, that skill was used at this job. In addition to that, when you go back to your profile, you will see now that for this experience, project management now shows up as a keyword. So this is another way for you to get more keywords into your profile, but you want to make sure that they are the right keywords that align with your goal. Another way that you can find keywords for your LinkedIn profile is by using the LinkedIn Career Explorer. This is a free tool 
that you can just search on Google LinkedIn Career Explorer and it'll come up. And basically what you do here is you add the city. I'll just leave it Atlanta for now. It doesn't make a difference. And then we will do project manager, which is the keyword that we've been looking at in this example. We are then asked to choose a specific kind of project manager or add more details. So we'll go with that one right here. And then from there, you can see that there are skills that show up right here. And these are skills that are related to the position. So this also gives you an idea of typically for a project manager, these are the kinds of skills that they need for the position. ChatGPT obviously is also a great way for you to be able to search for some keywords for your profile an easy prompt if you don't have some specifics yet what are some keywords for my linkedin profile for a project manager role and right there you will be given a huge list of skills that you can scan through compared to the ones that you were able to find in the job poster compared to the ones that LinkedIn is suggesting to you and you have a huge suggestion here that you're able to see which ones do I actually have which ones align with my background and which ones do I want to connect with the goal that I have right now. So ChatGPT is a great tool and obviously you can make your prompt as specific as possible so that the keywords that they're giving you aren't just these general project manager keywords but they align with your specific background. Another way to find keywords for your profile, if you have LinkedIn Premium, you will be able to go to a specific job poster. So I've opened a random job poster here, also a project manager. As you go through this job poster, similar to the one I showed you before, you'll be able to see some words that are repeated. Those are the keywords. But in addition to that, when you have LinkedIn Premium, you are able to see here what they call the qualification details. I am not telling you to get LinkedIn Premium just for this because I've showed you other ways that you can find keywords for free. But if you do already have LinkedIn Premium, this is another way that you can do your keyword research. So you can see here that the employer has selected 10 top skills that they would like to see someone who is applying for this role to have on their profile. So this will give you an indication of the key skills. And then here, in addition to that, there are additional skills among applicants that are listed right here. So these are all keywords that can help you know that, okay, these are the keywords that keep getting repeated from the various job posters, from the various opportunities that I'm seeing. I do have this background, so I'm going to make sure that these keywords show up on my profile so I can be found when recruiters, hiring managers are doing their searches. All right, number seven, you want to make sure that your education is on your profile, that it's clear whether you have certificates, degrees, diplomas, you want to make sure that you're including that information on your LinkedIn profile. And number eight, expand your network. LinkedIn at the end of the day is not just about having a beautiful profile, it's about the connections that you make, the strategic relationships that you're making to help you to advance in your career or to be a support to somebody else. So building those connections and actually reaching out to people and having conversations that's where you are able to make a difference. If you're someone who's currently looking for a role and you're saying, well, I've reached out to people on LinkedIn and they don't answer, you want to make sure that you are strategic in the way that you're connecting with people. Start with people that you know. A lot of times we overlook the people that we know and then we go straight to recruiters, hiring managers that we have no connection to. But sometimes within your own network, there are people who have influence. There are people who are more likely to want to help you. And they may not be the ones who have an opportunity, but they may know someone in their network that they can introduce you to. So it's important 
that you not neglect your own network, start with your network, and still take those opportunities that you have to connect with people that you don't know. Because think of it this way, if you actually reach out to a recruiter, a hiring manager, and you are truly that ideal fit that they're looking for for the role, you are a solution to the problem that they currently have. So keep that in mind when you're reaching out to people on LinkedIn. One more thing that can be a game changer when it comes to optimizing your LinkedIn profile is making sure your LinkedIn URL is personalized. And I have a video right here that walks you through how to do that. I'll see you in that one.